In this video we're going to make a dust boot for my CNC machine. The first step was cutting out the top and bottom base plate. They're going to be magnetically connected together so it's easy to disassemble and reassemble. You can see from this sped up video that I'm cutting too quickly and actually some of the plastic was melting and building up on the cutter. Thankfully I could actually uh, rub it down with some emery paper just on the edges and break away that, uh, that top edge. However, if I was to do this again, I'd have run it at much slower speeds. This is the bottom plate and currently in the video we're cutting out the bottom plate. It's already gone through earlier and cut through the rim for inserting and gluing in the bristles. This next video now is the top plate. The top plate permanently connects to the router bracket and it also permanently connects to the dust hose itself. You can see there that I've cut the magnet slots and the intention was that these would be push fit into the little pockets. This worked really well and you'll see that in a minute in the video. The problem with the top plate is that I needed to actually put the magnet bristles, uh, sorry, the magnet pockets on one side and also cut the countersink on the opposite side. So to do this, I actually cut out the part and then I mill the pocket in the MDF base plate that I was using and that allowed me then to realign the base plate. I screwed it down as you can see, so it's already cut out, it's screwed down into the pocket and it helped with realigning. I'm not saying it was absolutely perfect, however it didn't need to be absolutely spot on for the realigning. So putting a pocket in the MDF base and then uh, flipping it the other way around, it allowed me to flip it over and relocate for the screw holes and the countersinks. You can see the router again is running a little bit too fast. Obviously this video is sped up, but it's running a little bit too fast and you can see the build up there and the melting uh, perspex. The pockets for the magnets were a really good fit and I could use my wood vise just to push the magnets in to their pockets and they held in really firmly. You do have to think a little bit about getting the magnets uh, in the correct pole, uh, poles so that they do actually uh, lock together and attract each other rather than repel. Sounds obvious but I must admit when I put the first one in it was by luck rather than judgement that it was the right way around. You see there that the four clamp together really well, these are only 5mm magnets and they clamp really well. The next section was to put the bristles in place and this now is where I took a brush, uh, a long sweeping brush, quite cheap from local DIY uh, shop and I siliconed in the bristles. I literally cut them off the brush and then siliconed those in. I will be remaking this bottom part. And I admit now that these brushes, these bristles that I've used are a little bit too stiff. I'm only doing small, using very small cutters for the jobs that I'm tending to use. And therefore the bristles are, are pushed down a lot when they're in use. Uh, and therefore we, we needed thinner bristles. I've used this now probably about 15, 20 times since making it. And the bristles are getting a bit worn through them being too stiff and being uh, pushed close to the workpiece. Okay, so this is fitting the dust boot onto the uh, onto the machine itself. Um, the the top piece, as you can see, is permanently fitted to the bracket. 
and that bottom piece just clips on um, and again I've used this a number of times now and those magnets are, are, are very much strong enough to hold on um, to, to the, the two parts and clip them both together. Um, that piece there that's been inserted I admit is a bit misleading, it's been since cut down. Um, you can see now without the dust boot uh, all the chips that are being thrown off. This is a piece of high density um, polyethene. Again, like I say, you can see all the bits that have been flung off and now with the dust boot. Um, most of the work that I'm cutting is this size and you can see that the uh, bristles are, are far too long for it in my opinion. Um, I have not yet cut them down but I, I will be doing shortly. So as you can see, uh, the dust boot is definitely working. The bristles are a little bit too long and again a little bit too stiff. I'm certainly going to remake the bottom part when these are worn out and use uh, more flexible, thinner bristles. Um, the silicon is definitely holding the bristles in place, there's no problem there. I used a 3mm slot to, uh, to hold the bristles in and again I'd probably expand that by another uh, millimetre to 4mm just to physically get more uh, silicon in there uh, and again more bristles. So the dust boot's working. Really pleased with it, uh, it certainly beats having to uh, keep holding the, the hoover there and I'm cutting a lot of GRP so it, it makes, the, uh, makes the whole job a lot cleaner, a lot nicer process to do. Okay, thanks for watching, uh, please feel free to like uh, and I hope you subscribe. Cheers!